Hey YouTube, Plant Tech Andres there doing another action figure review. Now today I'm doing a review of a figure that turned up recently. I'd actually forgotten I had pre-ordered it on Walmart. And uh, this is the Retro line, G.I. Joe Retro 2021 uh, line for Robert Grunt Graves. Now, if you're not familiar with the uh, character, uh, he's one of the original 13 G.I. Joe characters. So the original 13 kind of characters comprised of Snake Eyes, uh, was Snake Eyes, Scarlet, it was Hawk, Grunt, Stalker, Zap, Flash, and I'm missing a whole bunch of the others, uh, Rock and Roll, and who's the other ones? Uh, it's a Steeler, uh, that's only nine, I'm missing at least four. I can't remember the names of the other ones. Oh, Grand Slam was another. So that's 10. And the other three, I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, some of them were... Uh, some of them were actually vehicle drivers. And some of them were, like, single-carded. Grunt here was one of the single-carded figures. So... Here is the card art is a replication of the original card art for Grunt. So you can see he's in sort of running pose holding a gun in one hand uh, by the stock. Is that the right? Or by the, yeah, by the stock. And uh, it just has a window p uh, packaging for the figure. And then just has Robert Grunt Graves on the name. So if I flip around the back of the box. So again, you have the same sort of international packaging so i'm assuming this is the same way that all the packaging is so it has multilingual uh bio cards so basically just says robert graves role infantry trooper primary special speciality infantry secondary speciality is small arms armor and artillery coordinator coordinator birthplace columbus ohio familiar with all nato and warsaw pack small arms as well as domestic civilian arms a highly motivated systematic individual now, I'm pretty sure his original file card was a bit more fleshed out than that. But this is just what we're getting. So, um, the other figures in this wave that they have showcased on the back is Cobra Commander. So, he's a slightly retool of one of the existing Cobra Commanders. Duke, which is a reuse of the Screaming Duke figure. Which wasn't p people's most go-to particular figure. I think... They, it would have been nice if they had um, an alternate head in that package. I don't think it comes with an alternate head. To have like a neutral and the screaming head. Unfortunately, uh, that's the way they did this one. Lady J, who I've been on the fence about picking up. Because I think it's just a repack of the 50th anniversary one. With maybe a slightly updated head. Kind of similar how they did the Baroness. But after getting Scarlet in hand. Which if you watch my reviews, you've seen I've reviewed her. I think I might try and track down uh, Lady J. Uh, Stalker, who I have in the post, hopefully, should be turning up at some point. There is the Cobra Officer and the Cobra Trooper. Now, I have a Cobra, one of the Cobras on the in the post, which I got from Walmart as well, which I'd forgotten I had ordered. And I think I have one or two else coming along at some point as well. Even though I didn't really want to army build the Cobra Troopers, because I have a ton of the 50th anniversary ones and the 25th anniversary ones i don't really need an extra bunch of them but having the, just one of the new ones one of each of the new ones might be just as nice but that's it mostly for the packaging so flipping the box away you'll see the figure now if i just move my camera down slightly and i'm going to try and bring them up a little bit closer to the screen or I have him on his display stand. So he comes with a few accessories. One of which being this display stand with his name on it. And it's done with the G.I. Joe logo. Very similar to the one that came with Scarlet. He has quite a good few accessories. Now, one of which is attached to him in the packaging. Which is his harness. Which is already up on him when you get him. He comes with a helmet. Now, I really hope they reuse this helmet again for some of the other figures. It looks like it's designed that it will have, at some point, have the visor. If I just bring in... This is my makeshift grunt because I never got the original 25th anniversary one. He was part of a tree pack 
uh, which was exclusive to, I think it was Target at the time. So this was my stand-in for that figure. He's just made of, um, I think it's breaker parts with some different harnesses and uh, it's Grand Sam head. But you can see the visor helmet. As far as I can tell, these visor helmets are different. There are slight, it's a slightly bigger helmet. Uh, it does look like there will be a version of it with the visor. So for characters such as, I think, Steeler had the visor. Um, Breaker, which is another character which I forgot in the lineup of the original 13. Breaker had a visor as well, I think. But he does come with that removable helmet, which is quite nice. He comes with a M16, I think it is. Um, very nicely done. It's in the all new sculpt. It's not a reuse of one of the previous guns as far as I'm aware of. It's quite nicely done. He does come with a pistol. Which looks like a kind of standard 9mm style pistol. Which is also, I think, a new sculpt. It's not a, a reuse of parts. Now, a lot of this figure is all new. In fact, actually, I think everything on this figure is all new. From what I can tell. Even the backpack... I, as again, I never had the 25th anniversary one. I don't even think he came with a backpack. But this is an all new backpack sculpt. So it's nice to see that Hasbro have actually thrown out entire all new sculpting for this guy. Even the head is new. It's not a reuse of previous uh, grunt heads. The previous grunt head was a reuse of the flash head. Which made it kind of interesting. But this guy has... Um, I won't take off the belt because I don't want to, actually, I'm not sure how it comes off. Uh, I don't see how the pl pl plugs in. The old ones used to plug in here at the front, but this is not actually a plug. So I'm not sure how it comes off. He does come with a removable knife, which is quite nice. It's quite small, but it does stick in on his web gear, which is really, really cool. Which is, again, why I hope... They keep the tradition with this using this body sculpt for the original 13 because most of the original 13 figures uh, reuse this design body and it's a really nicely designed body. I know, uh, talking to friends of mine who have the stalker figure, it uses this body as well. So I, I do know that some people have found that with the stalker figure it has some QC issues with the right arm snapping. I haven't had any issues with mine thankfully but it, i can understand where they were coming from it, when i first got him he was quite tight all the joints are fairly tight so i gave him a little dip in warm water to loosen them up a bit so he does have that web gear as i said i'm not sure even how it is removable it doesn't appear to be but articulation wise he's quite articulated so his head is on a ball joint uh you don't really get any up and down on it it's more um side to side you get some up and down but it's more a side to side you get some tilt but not much his arms are on a swivel joint you can swivel around and hinge out that much he has a single jointed hinge at the elbow with a swivel he actually has wrist articulation in the sense that he has a hinge on the wrist which is something that some of the earlier uh, retro line figures didn't have uh, Scarlet doesn't have it and Baroness doesn't have it and I have a feeling the Duke that they put out doesn't have it either because he's a reuse of the older Duke parts. He actually has an ab crunch and what's interesting is he actually has a waist swivel as well which is again something that some of the earlier figures don't have. So they have added in a whole bunch of extra articulation. His legs can kick forward, he can do splits that much. He has an upper thigh swivel, which is something that none of the previous uh, 25th anniversary up to 50th had. The, it's a completely new leg design. Uh, he has double jointed knees. I can get them to bend. They're quite tight. So you have double jointed knees, which is standard for the 25th anniversary. He has a boot swivel, which is completely new. And he has... The rocker articulation in the ankles so he has leg uh, rotate the ankle side to side and can go kick forward and back so he has quite a lot of articulation in these guys now one thing that's interesting as well that's different from the uh, 50th and the previous 25th anniversary 
the hip joint on these guys are plastic. So if I bring in the, this is 50th anniversary, you can see the metal bar on the bottom. So that's the only thing I would watch out for in case those things break. I do kind of wish they would have kept the metal bar, T-bar, for the crotch articulation because it was a bit stronger. Oh, obviously it's going to be a bit stronger than the plastic. But overall, he's a really nice figure. So if I just gear him back up again. Throw the helmet on. He can hold his rifle as well in both hands. I've had him in some nice two-handed poses with his gun. And just The hands are a little bit gummy, which is just perfect for this. So you can get him holding his rifle in two hands. So if I just bring in my tape measure, just get him to stand up as well. Oop. Knock everything over. So you can see he does stand around the four inch mark. And if I bring in some of the previous figures, bring in the recently looked at Scarlet from the same line, the retro line, and bring in that Duke. And I knock everything over. He is in a quite nice dark olive drab as well, which is another thing I like. It's a darker olive drab than the previous sort of attempts at the original turning, which is this kind of style here. Unfortunately, my custom one's leg is a little loose. But you can see he stands quite nicely with your 25th anniversary figures or the 50th anniversary figures, depending on which ones you have. And then just for another size comparison, so I have him handy. Here he is next to the Hyatt Toys Robocop. So the Robocop stands a little bit taller than not by much. And bring in one of the Spin Master Batman figures. This is Armored Batman. So Batman does stand quite nicely with him. And just if I have anything else handy that I can bring in. I should bring in a Cobra figure. It is the 50th anniversary version of Destro. I didn't pick up the retro line version because it's essentially a reuse of this figure. But Destro stands a good bit taller, which is true because Destro was a taller character. So overall, it's a really nice figure and I do recommend picking them up. Now, I don't know if people want to buy multiples and try customizing them into the original, original 13 characters. Because as I said, a lot of them reuse the same body. Even Snake Eyes used the same body, but all in black. So hopefully eventually they'll do like an original 13 set or release them all individually and you'll be able to pick them up and it'll look quite nice all together. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick video review of the Grunt figure from the G.I. Joe Retro line. And as always in my videos, please feel free to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Cheers, guys.